Gardeners, happy, happy Monday. Happy day after Mother's Day. I hope you all gave your moms big hugs and kisses yesterday. We have one picture. It, my printer came out a little streaky. There's Isaac with his writing. There's Isaac with his writing. I love it. We're going to put that right there. And let's get going, shall we? Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Today is Monday, May 11th. There's our 11 right there. If we go up the column, a column, remember, goes up and down. A column goes up and down. The top of our column is the word Monday. Monday. Today is the 11th. It's not the first Monday. It is the second Monday. The second Monday in May. It's a very special week in Miss Root's house this week because we had Teddy's birthday last week. But this week, in three days, we have August's birthday. Let's count it. One, two, three. We have August's birthday. And in four days... One, two, three, four days. On the 15th, we have Xavier's birthday. It is a birthday week in Miss Root's house today, or this week. And so we look at May. May has 31 days. May has 31 days. 11 is right here. We have the 11th. And we have each week, each week, each row is a week, and each week is seven days. It's the days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right. On our calendar. Oh, no. Before we do that, let's do our abbreviation. An abbreviated way, abbreviated means shortened, a shortened way, abbreviated way to write May 11th, 2020, is 5-11-20. The 5 represents the month. That's right, May is our fifth month. The 11 represents the day. Exactly right. And the 20 represents the year, the last two digits on the year. On our calendar, we have a pattern. A pattern. Repeats. A pattern repeats. Let's look at our pattern. We have yellow tulip, green butterfly. Purple tulip, green butterfly. It repeats after four. So then we had yellow tulip, green butterfly, purple tulip, green butterfly. We didn't go to school on Saturday or Sunday, so let's check it out. After our green butterfly, we got it. It's going to be yellow tulip. After yellow tulip is always a green butterfly. So our pattern was repeating yellow tulip, green butterfly. So today's going to be a purple tulip. Very nice, a purple tulip. Tomorrow, because after a purple tulip is always a green butterfly. Tomorrow should be a green butterfly. Let's check out the weather. Let's check out the weather. What do you see out there? What do we see? I see cloudy, but I see the sun peeking through. I see cloudy, but the sun is peeking through. So my evidence is white sky. I see white sky, but I can see the sun is going to burn off those clouds. So I'm going to put cloudy, but I'm pretty sure this is going to change to sunny because I can see the sun coming through. We had this weekend, let me move this to cloudy. This weekend was really nice and sunny. It was what I would call hot. It was hot. But if we look at May, we still have three cloudy days and four sunny days. If I counted the weekend, we would have six because it was sunny. It was sunny on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and my forecast, my forecast is that it's going to get cloudy this week. And I just know that because I saw the news last night. So I think it's, we're, our weather is going to change. And when it changes, it will go from sunny and hot to more cloudy and rainy. I think that's my forecast. All right, we have been at home for 62 days, 62 days. 62 is two ones and six. We have six groups of 10. Let's count them. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of 10. On my chart, my hundreds chart, 62 is right here. 62 is right here. I can count to 62 by ones. I can count to any number by ones. I can count, it fits, it fits my pattern for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Look, 2, 4, 6, 
8, 10, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. So I'm going to count by twos. Can't count by fives because it doesn't fit the pattern. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. We have to wait till we get to 65. And I can count by tens starting at any number as long as the digit in the ones place is the same. So if I look at this column, column goes up and down. I can see there's a two in the ones digit all the way down the column. So I can start here at two and count by tens all the way to 62. Let's practice. Two, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62. Nice. All right. We are going to do a new way to count by ones to 62. We're going to turn our body like this, okay? One turn, one count. One to one correspondence. Are we ready? What number do we start on when we're counting by ones? Oh, one. The clue is in the question. Here we go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. All right. Now, kindergartners, we're going to reach to the sky as we count to 62 by twos. What number did we start on when we're counting by twos? Two. The clue is in the question. All right, here we go. Let's start at two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62. All right, get your jumpers ready. We're going to jump, counting by tens to 62, starting at 2. Here we go, ready? 2, 12, 22. 32, 42, 52, 62. Very nice. Very nice and good. All right. We have four new sight words this week. Four new sight words this week. And some of these are pretty wacky sight words. Um, we have this sight word called. Called has our ED at the end. It makes a duh sound. Called. Like I called you yesterday to see what you were doing. Oh, she called my name, so I stood up. Called. Let's spell it. C-A-L-L-E-D. Called. Who? Who are you? W-H-O. Who? Oil. Ooh, oil. Oil is, um, we can use oil in our cooking, or we use oil to keep our cars working right. Oil. O-I-L. Look, it's got our oi. And sit. This is a sight word we could even sound out. Sit. S-I-T. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Letter pairs are two letters that make a new sound. My favorite, T-H. Let's do it. And we have S-H, which is our silent sh. T-C-H and C-H make the ch. 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 I'm going to move that because it's driving me a little nuts. So while we're here... I don't want you to think it's in between. I'm going to put it right above our T C H. It's right above the C H. We have W H and W make W C K a K and a K and a K K K. 
O-R. Is it a sight word or a letter pair? Or, just like Morgan, what is Morgan? Morgan has a letter pair in his, his name, or. A-R, the pirates of roommate, ar ar sama and Arham ar We have E-E -E and E-A that make the same sound. E, I'm free to see the trees with shiny E. And E-A, I eat and read. Sometimes at the same time. O-U and O-W are ow, O-U, ow, ouch. And O-W is my owl, owl eyes, ow, 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 ow. E W O O U E U E W Ew Broccoli Stew Ew for the body not for you O O Rudy Toot Toot and U E Blue Glue Ew O I O Y or Oi Oi Ew Boy Give me that toy Oi A Y A I A A Y I like to play every day in May and say A a I is rain. A A A A A A A. We might have some A rain coming tomorrow. E R I R U R my ers. E R mother, brother, sister, father, Ebenezer, Alexander, Oliver, er. I R like a bird and you are like a turtle. Er er er. Word chunks I N G. I like to swing in the spring with my ring and sing. Ing. That's my ing. And I-G-H has the wacky G-H that just shows up and does wacky things. It's making this chunk say I. S at the end of the word means more than one. Y at the end of the word can have an I sound, like fly, 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 fly. Or E like a baby. E-D means it happened in the past. It can have a D sound, like called. It can have a T sound, like picked. I picked it. Or it can have an ed sound, like painted, painted, okay? Wonky E, a wonky E shows up at the end of the word and does nothing. But a silent E makes a middle vowel say its name. Say my name, say my name, and the E is silent. Let's go over the names of those vowels. A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. These are the vowels of the alphabet. All right. Good readers, look for what they know to sound out words. They can do two things. They can break the words into chunks and read the chunks, or the parts, parts and chunks, read the parts to read the word, or they can find the sounds in the word and sound it out. There's two ways to sound out a word, right? Okay? Longer words, we're gonna break into parts. Shorter words, we're gonna stretch out those sounds and put them together. So I have this wonderful message about animals. We're still studying our animals that our friend Isaac sent me. He sent this. This is the picture of it. Did it fall? It fell. <laughs> right here was the picture of his raccoon writing. So let's read it. Let's break it into part, parts. Rack. O O U. Raccoon. S, raccoons. That's the, oh, here's a word put into parts. O R. O R O R. Four, even I start with four, est, four, est, forest. Let's sound it out. You are er, like a turtle. Er, fur. Right here. E-A is my letter pair, E. E, t, eat. Let's sound this one out. Cr, r, this A, cr, a, and a B. Crab. If there's an S at the end, sometimes I can just cover that up and then add it when I finish sounding out the rest of the word. Crab. Crabs. Oh, here's a big word. I'm gonna break it into parts. Get your mouth ready. Knock. Knock. There's where you are. Tur. Knock. Tur. N owl now nocturnal 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 this word means that they are awake at night and down here let's sound this one out first sound yeah that's right <sighs> uh uh hunt hunt 
Mm, this one I can just look at my word chunk. I see a word chunk. Let's say I. Mm, I. T night. Night. All right, now I'm going to go back and read it with my sight words. Now that I've read the words that I need to send out. Raccoons live in the forest. They have fur. They eat crabs. They are nocturnal and hunt at night. Oh, 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 let's do it again. This time a little smoother. Raccoons live in the forest. They have fur. They eat crabs. They are nocturnal and hunt at night. What four things did we learn about raccoons? Where do they live? Raccoons live in the forest. They live in the forest. How do they look? They have fur. How do they look? What do they eat? They eat crabs. Crab, third thing. And last, what do they do? They are nocturnal and hunt at night. So they're awake at night hunting, hunting, getting their food, getting their crab. Nicely done. It has our four parts that we need to have when we're writing about animals. Last time, let's read it as smooth as possible. Here we go, pointers up. Raccoons live in the forest. They have fur. They eat crabs. They are nocturnal and hunt at night. Very nicely done, I like this. All right, I like that we're using bigger words. Nocturnal is a very big word and I like that there's details. Why are they nocturnal? Because they hunt at night. All right, let's start with raccoons. Spell it with me. Raccoons. R-A-C-O-O-N-S. What letter pair? That's how it's too. O-O, like root. And more than one S. More than one S. Live. Spell it with me. L-I-V-E, and what kind of E? That's right, you got it. It is a wonky E, because no word in English can end in a V. We have a sight word coming up. What sight word is that? That's right, we have two in a row. In, spell it with me, I-N, and the. T-H-E, the. Letter pair. T -H. Second line, forest. Forest has our sight word for in it, which makes it easy to read that first part. Forest, F-O-R-E-S-T. What letter pair do you see in forest? That's right, O-R. They, sight word they, T-H-E-Y, they. What letter pair? Mm -hmm. T -H. Have, sight word have. Spell it with me. H A V E. And that's a wonky E because no word in English can end in a V. Fur. F U R, fur. What letter pair? You got it. U R. Third line. They. Oh, we have a lot of they's. There's a they on the fourth line, too. We have one, two, three they's. I think it's a trend to have three days in our message. Let's spell it T-H-E-Y, T-H-E-Y. Letter pair, T-H. When you have those words, even sight words that you don't quite know, get your mouth to say the first sound. Get your mouth to start, make the shape of that first sound. Sometimes it helps your brain know the rest. They, eat, E-A-T, eat. What letter pair? You got it, E-A. Crabs. C-R-A-B-S. Do they eat one crab or more than one crab? Yeah, more than one. I know because there's an S. Let's go down fourth line. We already did our they. R. A-R-E. 
has my AR letter pair and a wonky E. And a wonky wonky. This is this great word, Aries, it came up with nocturnal. N-O-C-T-U-R-N-A-L. What letter pairs are nocturnal? Mm-hmm. You are like a turtle. Nocturnal. Sight word and. A-N-D. Hunt. H-U-N-T. Sight word at. A-T. And the word night. N-I-G-H-T, which we already circled our word chunk night. Great message. Keep writing about those animals. Tomorrow, I'm going to teach you about how to write a riddle about your animal. But today, I want you to keep getting information about animals. Keep getting your information. There's four pieces of information. Where they live, what they look like, what they eat, what they do. All right. Our letter this week, our letter of the week is uh, Q. Q. And Q, I'm going to put it up here. Q is actually a letter pair because in English, Q has to always have a U after it in English. So when you see Q, it's always going to have a QU. It's a letter pair. Even though it's a letter, it always comes with a U after it. So let's go ahead and read our book about Q. Q, there's our uppercase Q, lowercase Q. The lowercase q kind of looks like a p backwards. And the lowercase q, I'm going to let you know. Let me write it on a piece of paper like this. It can look three ways. You might see it just like this. With a straight line down, just like that one. You can see it like this, where it loops. Or you might see a q just like this. Like a check mark. Okay? All of those are q's. They are all lowercase q's. So let's read about the quiet Quail, look, Q always goes with the U. Q always goes with the U. This is a quail, it's a kind of bird. Quiet, oh, what sound does Q make? Qua, 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 qua. Let's do it with me. The quiet quail. Qua, qua, qua. Quincy is a quiet quail. Qua, qua, qua. He likes to do quiet things. Quincy likes to snuggle with his favorite quilt. The quilt is the kind of blanket. And listen to quiet pitter-patter of the rain. Quincy likes to sit quietly and read. Quincy likes to take quiet walks. He likes to do quiet things. Sometimes on his quiet walks, Quincy meets his friend Dottie Duck. Dottie is not very quiet. In fact, Dottie is quite loud. Quack, quack, quack. What does Dottie say? Quack, quack, quack. Hi, Quincy. Quack, quack, shouts Dottie. Hello, Dottie, whispers the quiet quail. Quack, quack, quack. Quincy and Dottie sit in the park. Quack, 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 shouts Dottie. What a beautiful day. Quack, quack. Dottie quacks and quacks till Quincy's head hurts. Dottie, please quit quacking, quack, 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 says Quincy. But Dottie is quacking so loudly, she does not hear the quiet quail. <laughs> Quincy decides to go for a swim to drown out Dottie's quacking. He spreads his quilt on the grass and jumps in the pond. Oh, look at her, she's quacking. Suddenly, Queenie the dog, ooh, Queenie the dog, qua, 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 trots by. She grabs Quincy's quilt and runs away. My quilt, cries Quincy. Someone stop Queenie. But Quincy's voice is too quiet. No one hears him. Qua, qua, qua. Queenie runs right past Dottie. That's Quincy's quilt, quacks Dottie. Catch Queenie, quick. Qua, qua, qua. The other animals hear Dottie's loud quacking. They chase Queenie. Queenie is quick, but the other animals are quicker. They snatch Queenie's quilt from Queenie's teeth. They give the quilt back to Quincy. Quack, quack, quack. Quincy thanks all the animals for rescuing her quilt, especially Dottie. 
Your loud quacking saved the day, Quincy tells Dottie, and for once the quiet quail's happy to have such a noisy friend. Quack, quack, quack. Let's look at all these things that start with Q, U, quack, quail. This kind of a pen with a feather on it is called a quill. And let's see, I see a queen, and they're sitting on a quilt. Right. And what else? Do we see anything else? What? A quarter. A quarter. Oh, she's a quarter is money that's worth twenty five cents. She's paying for her ice cream with a quarter. All right. Let's come on over here to make our chart. Q. I put little U's here because a Q always has a U after it in English. An uppercase Q. Get your uh, writing fingers up. We go around. We're going to take our finger off of the page to do our little tail. We go around, just like a, uh, just like an O, around, and then the tail. Tail is a straight line. Do it again. Around and down. The lowercase Q, I do not take my pencil off the page. Do it with me. Around, down, and I did a little check. But again, you could do it like this, or you could do it just a straight line. Do it again. Around and down. Q words. What are some QU words? Qua, qua, qua. We have quail. We have, what was the name of the quail? Quincy. Quincy. We had the duck. The duck went quack. No, I'm going to write them different words. Quack. And Quincy liked it to be nice and quiet. Quack, quack, quiet. And we have the blanket she had was called a quilt. And uh, the dog's name was Queenie. Queenie was a queen. Queenie or a queen. And she paid for the ice cream with a quarter. Quarter. A quarter is a kind of money. And when you're really fast, you're going to go quick. Quick. And if you don't make it, you say not quite. Not quite. I'm always saying to my kids, no matter what, don't quit. Don't quit. Quit. Don't quit. All right, I think we have some good words right now. Let's go ahead and read them together. You ready? Let's read them together. Q Quincy Qua. Q Quit Qua. Q Quail Qua. Q Quiet Quack Qua. Q Quiet Qua. Q Quilt Qua. Q Quarter Qua. Quick. Q Quick. Q quite qua queenie Q queenie qua and queen Q queen qua keep thinking of Q U words if you think of any others that we should add email them to me so we can get them up here okay I think Q U is a little tricky um but just keep thinking qua 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 what are some words that start with Q U write them to me last thing maybe we'll find some in our message in May I truly think it best to be a robin lightly dressed concocting soup inside my nest mix it once mix it twice mix that chicken soup with rice all right kindergartners i want you to go outside today stay cool miss root was really hot yesterday and today is a good day if you have otter pops or ice cream or anything cold have something cold to eat today drink lots of water stay healthy stay safe and keep writing about animals. I will see you tomorrow.